see how to uh, connect Africa to the rest of the world in terms of uh, telecommunication and new technologies. Now today we are looking at how we can build on the investments we've already made to actually start impacting lives in a more significant way. And there will be priorities. Uh, we will talk about how uh, we can deliver a smart healthcare, smart agriculture, smart education, smart governments, also smart businesses. We also talk about uh, job creation, uh, youth entrepreneurship, how we can use ICT to empower women, and so on and so forth, how we can be managing more our, our, our villages and cities more smartly. Can you tell us um, in, in brief for Rwanda uh, what ICT has done in terms of impacting the lives of citizens? There are many things. Uh, many people like to talk about uh, ICT in terms of what it can do, but they, for, they forget to talk about what it has already achieved. So look, for instance, at the financial sector. More than 2.5 million people using mobile financial solutions. It has helped the country deepen financial inclusion. It is making money move faster in the economy and therefore creating more value and creating a lot of jobs, all those young people involved in trading different IT solutions. Uh, look at what is happening with branchless banking or agent banking. More than a thousand branches or bank agents are uh, uh, in the country. So that is just one example. But when you talk about education, for instance, how more than 400 schools have uh, been connected to the one laptop per child, and the, and, the, and the kind of education, the standard of education that our uh, children are having access to is really uh, unprecedented. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can talk about health as well. Today the entire health system is managed with real-time information, both from the healthcare uh, point of delivery, but also from the patients themselves. You can get emergency uh, support anytime, just you, you using uh, rapid SMS, but also the policymakers get access to things like epidemic information that can allow them to react and respond more effectively and actually prevent uh, outbreaks. So those are real impacts that people often don't talk about, but ICT is already impacting lives in Rwanda. And in terms of the future, what's, what's Rwanda's, uh, where, what direction is Rwanda going in terms of ICT? So in terms of what, what foundation has been laid, there's a foundation that's been laid, but what's, where, where are we going in the future in terms of ICT? Well, we are completing our infrastructure rollout with 4G LTE network, a super fast network that is going to make broadband universally available in Rwanda within the space of three years. Once that is complete, in parallel we are building our skills, we are upgrading both in terms of quality and numbers of people that are trained in ICT, and once that is in place, and in fact in parallel, we are building uh, innovation with young people who will be able to develop applications and content that are going to transform how business is done in the different sectors. Can you tell us in terms of um, 